is your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good afternoon, I'm Lauren Piesco and here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Michigan's capital evacuated and currently on lockdown. According to Michigan State Police, the capital received a bomb threat earlier today through an email. MSP says they're currently searching the building right now. Stay with TV5 for more updates. And students evacuated from Dow High School in Midland due to a gas leak. The school was evacuated around 10 o'clock this morning. The school district says there was an external gas leak on the campus of the high school, which caused fumes to enter the ventilation system. Students were excused for the rest of the day, and students who were unable to drive themselves home were taken to the central auditorium to wait for a ride. The school district says it's working with the Midland Fire Department to determine those next steps. A structure fire broke out this morning in Chesning. Part of M57 was still closed to traffic at noon today. This happened at the car shop four wheel by on Pete Road. Still no word on the cause of the fire or if anyone was injured. And attention property owners, if you were impacted by the 2020 dam failures, the Four Lake Task Force's preliminary days of review period is almost over. Property owners can schedule a one on one online session with an engineer about your parcel's annual cost. These must be booked at least three days in advance. They're available through January 12th and to register, just go to the hot link section of our website. On January 15th, a public hearing is scheduled at the Beaverton Activity Center. There will be sessions from 9 to noon and 1 to 3. This is followed by a Four Lakes Task Force Board meeting. They plan to review costs to restore four dams and review the capital assessment role. Now here's Diane Phillips with a look at your forecast. We are going to be watching this afternoon for some snow showers, but already today we have seen a little bit of that drizzle causing slippery roadways throughout Genesee County this morning, but we will be watching our roadways tonight as those snow showers do push in. They'll come in from the north and you'll find that they'll be here late afternoon and even into the evening. This band kind of extending across the tip of the thumb is going to have a little bit of energy as it moves further west, so we will be seeing some snowflakes. Others may be able to catch a break in between, but that's going to continue to push south around 9, 10 o'clock. And once it finally moves out, we'll have northerly winds that is still going to spur a little bit of lake effect into here on county. So we'll be watching that along with the cloud cover for tomorrow morning. But I'm hoping to at least bring some clearing, meaning some sun into Thursday's forecast. So have the sunglasses on standby. There still will be some cloud cover around. But if we can get a few minutes of some sun, it's going to be enjoyable because still as we go into Friday, though the forecast is dry, we have clouds that are hanging around and they are going to be here and there before really starting to build in leading into the weekend. As far as snow totals, any snow showers that we get are not going to add up to all that much for the majority of mid Michigan, except for here on county. You can see that we'll be looking at up to an inch at most, so we will be looking at slippery roadways potentially as the conditions are starting to cool out for us here. Now we do have another system that we want to first alert you to, but it's still going to be into next week. You're going to see that this storm, at least we are seeing in the weather data, that is starting to develop. But right now we're looking for a little more consistency to gain that confidence on what is actually going to be shaping up for this storm. So you will find as we look at our storm track, we have a couple of options here. So so we're going to be working on narrowing down where the best energy is going to go and whether it's going to take a path that's a little more snowy, a little more rainy, or somewhere in the middle. But for now, your first alert seven day forecast just has the snow showers and the drizzle in for today. Dry weather for the rest of the work week, and you'll find that as we go into the weekend that we do have just those snow shower chances. It's Tuesday that we will be seeing the chance for that system to come in, and of course, we'll keep you updated here online and on the TV5 first alert weather app. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.